Hello there. I have this guitar. I just swapped this body into the rest of the guitar for the one that used to be here. This is a Pinewood uh, Sunburst. It's also a very good uh, body, but I wanted to do something with this black body here that I've had with other parts earlier on. You might have seen it if you have uh, watched my channel. One of the reasons that I swapped this body into this the rest of the parts here is the pickups. They are radio shop pickups and they are the black one set. And uh, these pickups are inspired from John Mayer's uh, the black Stratocaster. And of course, it goes without saying, I need to have this body along with these pickups. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I think it looks very good now. And it sports a set of quality parts now. The, the body is uh, MJT, relic body that I have had for many years. And the neck here is a Musikkraft, or however you pronounce that. Uh, it's a made in USA um, neck. Uh, I've sanded down the backside of the neck because uh, it had a finish here, and I wanted it to be a bit smoother. So I sanded it down and it became very white. So I added a tint, a black tint. It's called Stains from Crimson Guitars, the stuff that I use. I, I dilute it with some uh, finishing oil and uh, just uh, put it on. And I've um, smoothed it out afterwards uh, with a bit of sandpaper and uh, yeah, really got it very smooth. And uh, yeah, I think it uh, became a very good looker. And uh, it uh, also has a very good tremolo system. The saddles here are from Highwood guitars. I think that's what you're called. Um, they have uh, the height adjustment screws on these are hit under the saddle so they won't come up and, and hurt your hand when you're playing. I don't know what more to say about this guitar other than it's a very good one. It's uh, the neck here, it just fitted right in the pocket and the action was perfect immediately. So it pays off to use quality parts. But I have had a lot of other cheaper necks that I've tried out on my parts caster, but there's always something to tend to. Usually the frets, they are sticking out on a sharp, so you have to file it down and round them off, or, and it needs uh, leveling. Uh, yeah, and uh, they never fit right in the pocket like this did. You, you need to have a shim maybe, or adjust. Uh, yeah, but uh, they work of course also, but this is just, different league. I can feel that this is a very good quality neck. It's licensed from Fender and uh, yeah it feels good to have this guitar now with these quality parts really. So I will play it now and um, hopefully I will do these uh, pickups justice because uh, I think they are marvelous. They sound great and uh, not only for playing John Mayer songs of course. So they are <laughs> They just have something uh, with the harmonics from them. I, I really love them. And I'm not using a lot of uh, overdrive now because uh, I try to get as close as I could to John Mayer's tones. And uh, I feel that he plays with a pretty clean tone, just on the edge of breakup, as they say. And uh, so I added just a tad of overdrive to push the amp slightly when I dig into the strings. So uh, here we go with uh, my take on Gravity from uh, John Mayer. Okay, bye for now.
guitar where there's more negative space than positive space in terms of paint job, then you could sort of hint at it being, it really wasn't like, I want an old looking guitar. It, became, it was a technical thing. I don't want very much paint on the body, but I don't want a raw, I don't want it to look like I stripped it. desperate to have something molecular happen to the guitar. <laughs> 